Robin. Yum. 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 Robin. Yum. Yum. Robin. Yum. 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 Robin. Yum. Robin. Yum. Red Robin, known for their gourmet burgers and brews, has been a part of many people's lives, including me. This restaurant chain is known for having great burgers, great fries, and great service. But there is one other thing Red Robin has to offer, and that's their mascot, the Red Robin, also known as Red. This larger-than-life bird has been with the company since nearly the beginning, going through many different designs and appearances throughout the years, so why not talk about him? So in this video, I will be going over the entire history of this kind of obscure restaurant mascot. From not so child friendly to very child friendly, this is the history of the Red Robin mascot. So before I talk about this rockin' Robin, let me quickly go over the history of the place he represents, Red Robin. So back in the year 1940, a new restaurant opened in Seattle, Washington called Sam's Tavern. It was created by someone named Sam, who was actually a part of a barbershop quartet. One of his favorite songs was the song, When the Red Red Robin Comes a Bob Bob Bobbin. He liked the song so much that he eventually changed the name of the restaurant to Sam's Red Robin. Fast forward to September 1969, when Seattle restaurant entrepreneur Jerry Kingan bought the restaurant and completely overhauled it into what we know today as Red Robin. And that's where our mascot story begins. And the first mascot created for the restaurant was certainly an interesting creation. So, I don't know if you guys are ready to see the original Red Robin mascot. He might be a little too shocking to some of you. Alright, fine. Here he is. See? I told you so. This is the very first design for a Red Robin mascot used. He dates back to the founding of the restaurant in 1969, and he's definitely a product of his time. The most notable thing about this design is that he's smoking a cigarette. Although I will say that it's not too jarring to see the Red Robin with a cigar. I mean, it's not as weird as when Chuck E. Cheese used to smoke cigars. Similar to Andy the Armadillo from Texas Roadhouse, the Red Robin is allowed to smoke and be seen doing adult things because the restaurant isn't specifically a kid's place. It was more geared towards an older audience, though later on it became more family friendly. As for his design, it's a far cry from the young and lovable bird we know today. He looks more like a chicken, or a vulture, or maybe even a dodo bird, probably because of his long beak and small head, a lot of people have pointed out that he might be smoking a joint, because of his eyes, because they look all red. But I think that's actually because the wood the mascot is painted onto is a reddish-brown color, so maybe over the years his eyes ended up like that. In terms of clothing, he's got a baseball cap, white Mickey Mouse gloves, and black boots. And finally, for some reason, his tail is white and blue, despite the rest of him being red. So there's not much information that I could find on the original Red Robin mascot design. He was only used for a very short amount of time, and never appeared outside of the original location. And no, there was no mascot costume based off this design. At least I don't think there was. Surprisingly, this guy managed to stick around even after being retired. He was still on the walls of the original Red Robin location up until 2010, when the location was closed down and was demolished in 2014. But even though he's gone for good, we'll never forget the original cigar-smoking Red Robin. Rest in peace. Despite Red Robin opening in 1969, it would take another 10 years for another location to open. 
1979, the rights to Red Robin were sold to different franchisees, and more locations started opening around the United States. And with Red Robin expanding to more locations, the company decided to create a brand new mascot to replace the old cigar-smoking bird. And this one, let's just say, has staying powers. In 1983, the company introduced their new official mascot, Red the Red Robin. This time, the Robin was made younger and hip with the times, and he did not smoke anymore. He actually looks like a Robin now, and not like a Dodo or Vulture. He's got large eyes with equally large pupils. Maybe a little too large, though. His beak was shorter, and he now has a large blue baseball cap. And for his body, he's now wearing clothes, including a white and blue shirt, pants, sneakers, and he even has a bow tie. Around the time of the redesign, the first official Red Robin mascot costume was created. Again, I don't know if this was the very first costume, but it's the earliest I could find. And I'm not the biggest fan of this costume. It doesn't really look right compared to the cartoon design. He looks kind of angry, and the colors on his clothes are just too dark. Although that could just be because of the lighting. He looks more like a parrot than a robin. But I will say that I don't hate the costume. I just think it's a little underwhelming and kind of cheap. Maybe I'm just being a little harsh, though. I also found another picture while editing, and this one looks the same as the previous one, but the colors are more accurate and he looks fatter. There's no information on this costume I could find online other than two photos, so I have no clue how long it was used for or how many locations had this costume. I also don't know who made it. But since there is barely anything to go off of with this costume, it was probably used for a short amount of time and only used by a couple locations. It was definitely gone by the late 80s, early 90s, since that's when the next costume was introduced. The next costume created for the restaurant was also based on this design. It was created sometime in the late 80s or early 90s. The earliest photo I could find was from 1990. And yeah, this costume is definitely the better costume based on this design of red. The colors are brighter and the eyes are bigger, and the clothes are all correct, but I still don't know who made it. My only issue is that his eyes look a little too creepy. The pupils could have been smaller, and maybe he should have had eyelids. Then again, birds do often have unsettling stares. As for the rest of them, he's got a new blue hat, which is removable, a blue shirt with two letter R's on it, obviously that stands for Red Robin. The costume also has red pants, and the shoes are large with black, white, and green details. However, in this footage, you can see him wearing just normal white human-sized sneakers. Oh, and I forgot to mention his very large and impressive wings. This version of Red actually had some merchandise made in his likeness. Not much, but still some. The only pieces of merch I could find are these figures, and this kind of cool hand puppet. Red also started appearing at many events outside the restaurant, like this soccer game from 1994 that was just recently uploaded to YouTube. He would also start appearing more frequently at the restaurants, now appearing on weekends. And that's it, at least for this version of Red. He came and went, lasting up until the late 90s, but some restaurants still use the costume for a little while longer. Now we move on to the next mascot design of Red the Red Robin, and this one you may have actually seen in person before. Next up on our Red Robin Department of Deliciousness tour, these are some of our burgerologists doing some flavor testing. Now over here, this is one of our crowning achievements. This is the Whiskey River Barbecue Chicken Burger. Now take all the pictures you want, look, but don't touch the burger. Now come on right this way. 
Burger violation. Burger violation. Burger violation. Nobody makes gourmet burgers like we do. Uniquely created to be insanely delicious. Red Robin. Yum. Around the late 90s, Red Robin decided to redesign Red. Some people thought Red was a little outdated, even by 90s standards. So the main goal of the company was to create a design that would be timeless. This brand new design of Red ditches the clothing, including the hat and bow tie, in favor of a blue vest with the Red Robin logo on one side. He's also got some Red sneakers now. He was also made to look younger and more child-friendly, since the previous version was a little scary for some children. And speaking of scaring kids, let's talk about the new mascot costume based off this design. I'm just going to go ahead and say this, but this mascot costume of Red is my favorite version created. Not only does it look exactly like the artwork, but it also just looks great. As for what company made this costume, I originally thought it was International Mascots Incorporated. However, I believe that is false, thanks to a recent discovery. The costume was actually created by a company called PDS Designs, who is a relatively unknown company who mostly works on toys and prototyping, but they've done a few mascot costumes in the past. They even refurbished Weird Al's fat suit from the Fat Music video. They actually produced around 125 Red Robin costumes for the restaurants, with even more being made later on. You know what? Despite this costume being made by a company that isn't as well known as some other mascot costume companies, it's still an amazing costume. Starting with the head, it is very large and it has a hard plastic beak and cheek feathers on each side. He's got a much friendlier look along with large piercing blue eyes. The employee inside looks out of a hole in the mouth. Also, according to employees who've worn the costume, head movement is really hard due to it being very bulky. As for the body, it's mostly just a bunch of heavy padding all around with a tiny tail and the arms which have these very tiny, barely noticeable wings on them. One interesting thing to note on this particular costume is that the neck piece goes all the way up to the employee's jaw so that you can't see human skin underneath the head. He's got four-fingered gloves and his legs are now just a pair of yellow tights, though sometimes different colored tights are used depending on the location or event. Speaking of events, Red Robin went really hard with marketing when it comes to this version of Red. He's been virtually everywhere at pretty much any event. I would even say he rivals the Chick-fil-A cow, or Andy the Armadillo when it comes to how many appearances he's made. It's impossible to cover every event he's been to, but here's just a few. He's been to a bunch of sports games including hockey games, basketball games, and baseball games. He's been to parades, schools, camps, festivals, and fairs. Most of these events sometimes feature other mascots from other places. Red is also sometimes available for private birthday parties, and even weddings, though this doesn't apply to every location. And finally, of course he's used during many restaurant events, and events sponsored by the restaurant. This brings up a question you guys are probably wondering. When does the Red Robin mascot come out or make appearances? Well, it all depends on the individual location. Some locations do things differently with Red than others might. Some locations don't even have a mascot costume at all. The best way to find out when you can see him is by contacting your local restaurant. Also, check when they hold kids' night or any other event that might involve the mascot. I'm going to go ahead and talk about variant outfits that Red has, because he's got a bunch. Not as many as some other mascots I talked about in this series, but a lot more than usually. Let's start with his legs. As previously mentioned, he's got yellow tights as his legs, but sometimes they are a different color. These include red, pink, tan, black, and sometimes they'll just be regular blue jeans. As for other smaller variants, here he is with a blue shirt. He's also been seen with a black red robin uniform shirt. Here he is in a balloon hat, and here he is in a construction traffic vest. Finally, there's the more elaborate costume variants. Here's his Hawaiian attire. Here's his Western attire. Here he is in a Valentine's outfit. Here's this Dalmatian-looking outfit. And finally, there's this hockey game outfit? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Last but not least, I'll end this section with a fun fact. Did you know that when this version of Red was first introduced, he actually wore the classic outfit and baseball cap? 
as seen in this footage from 1998. Okay, last thing, I promise. If I got anything wrong in this video, please take this naked red robin as an apology. Don't even think about it, furries. Okay, so you know how in some history videos I always tell a story that's related to the topic of the video? Well, I've got a kind of disturbing story about an incident that involved the Red Robin mascot. But first, some context to the story. So because Red is a bird, and a very short character, his costume is made to mostly fit people who are on the short side. Did you guys know about 90% of the employees who play Red are actually women? That's true because women are usually shorter than men, and are able to fit inside the costume easily. Women also have a smoother leg shape compared to men. While this fact might be surprising to some of you, it's actually more common than you think. Some of the shorter male mascot characters are often played by girls. For example, Mickey Mouse is almost always played by a female performer. So is Donald Duck. So is SpongeBob. So is Tweety Bird. But don't you guys worry, because there's still been quite a few men who have worn red. But since women are more commonly the ones to play red, it actually led to a pretty large incident 20 years ago. In February 2003, something terrible happened involving our beloved red. It happened in Omaha, Nebraska, where the city council vice president Chuck Sigerson and former Douglas County election commissioner Pat McPherson were both in hot water after an incident at the local Red Robin. You see, the two guys were at the restaurant as part of some sort of event being held, and during the event, they brought out the Red Robin mascot. The 17-year-old girl who was dressed as Red claimed that Pat McPherson groped her by grabbing her breast while Chuck Sigerson was accused of grabbing at the costume, revealing the girl's clothes underneath, just to get a picture. The girl also accused the two men of making sexual comments towards her. They were saying things about the character's gender, and joking about having sex with the mascot. The two men were eventually charged with sexual assault and disturbing the peace. The case went to court in July 2003, and each side gave their story. Then a shocking allegation was made by the attorneys of Sigerson and McPherson, claiming the girl who was the mascot made everything up. They claimed that the girl had a history of making false claims, and that this whole thing was about her wanting money to buy a car. Unfortunately, I couldn't find out if these allegations were actually true or not. Ultimately, after a little while, the judge acquitted the two men accused, but the story isn't over yet. In 2004, a year after the alleged incident, Pat McPherson filed a lawsuit against Red Robin, claiming that the incident ruined his career, since at the time of the incident he was forced to resign from his job. The lawsuit was soon dismissed. This was such a strange and weird incident. I honestly just did broad strokes. This incident could be an entire video on its own, as there's a lot I left out. But since I'm on a time crunch, that's the story. Moral of the story, don't harass mascots in any way, shape, or form, especially to this degree. One last thing about this version of Red worth discussing, and that's merchandise. Just like the last version, this version of Red doesn't have much merch. I could only find two items, this bendable figure and this kind of off-looking plush. But there is one thing this Red has that the others don't. And that's a statue. That's right, if you didn't get enough statue love from the big boy video, then here's the Red Robin mascot statue. It's nowhere near as iconic as big boy, but it's still beloved. The pose is just Red giving a thumbs up, but sometimes he's holding balloons, and other times individual restaurants will dress up the statues for special occasions. And just like big boy statues, the Red Robin statues are a common sight on auction websites, and there's many of them in private collections. This design of Red lasted for over a decade, and quickly became the most iconic and recognizable version of the Red Robin. However, all good things must come to an end, and this Red was retired around the late 2000s, but the mascot suits continued to be used at least up until 2012. But I believe there could be a location or two that still uses this costume. We now move on to the last version of Red, the one many of you younger people might be more familiar with.
Red Robin has just what you're craving. Gourmet burgers and Donato's pizza. Loaded edge to edge with 100 pepperonis. Gourmet burgers and Donato's pizza under one roof? That's how we roll. Red Robin. Yum. Around the late 2000s, Red Robin decided to redesign Red once again. This time he's back to wearing a full outfit instead of just a vest and shoes. Now he's got a yellow shirt with red on the front and red robin on the back and blue jeans. Despite still looking like the past version, it is considered a new design, not just the last version in different clothing. He does have other differences like a smaller head, new eyes and pupils, and he still doesn't have prominent wings. You know what? This version of red reminds me so much of Rockstar Chuck E. Cheese. I even like to refer to this one as Rockstar Red. Maybe it's because they both wear jeans with red and white shoes? A year or so later after the new design was revealed, a new mascot costume was created. And just like the last one, I think this costume is great, but I do prefer the older design a little more. The head is now smaller, and a lot easier to move around in, and the vision holes are now in the eyes and mouth. And now that the body is no longer large, bulky, and padded, it's easier for the employee to move around in. It's also accessible for any gender to play him, although it's still mostly females. This costume was created by the company Character Translations, who has mostly done minor league sports mascots, but they are responsible for creating the costume for one of the most iconic mascots of all time. None other than Gritty from the Philadelphia Flyers. That's right, folks. Gritty and the Red Robin are actually related. As for costume variants of this Red Robin mascot, there's only a couple, not as many as the last version. Here he is wearing a jester hat complete with blue jean shorts and black leggings. Here he is in a crazy hat, red shirt, and short jeans, but now he's got blue leggings. Here he is wearing something... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Here's him in a summer outfit with a Hawaiian shirt, and now he's got tan leggings. Here he is in a hat and sunglasses. Here he is in another crazy hat outfit. And here's another one. And finally, there's this patriotic red with American flags everywhere and red leggings. Oh, one more thing. So some locations that have both the previous mascot costume and the new one often switch the heads. So sometimes the new Red Robin mascot will have the head from the original version. This is more common than you think it is. As for events or stories involving this costume, he pretty much attended the same events that the last one did. There's not anything different here. There is one interesting story, and that's in December 2014, when a soldier dressed as the Red Robin to surprise his mom. I hate it when homecomings use mascots like this because it ruins the magic, especially when there's children around. Kids would be terrified to see Red take off his head. This should have been done backstage or after hours. I know it's supposed to be a happy moment, but still, it might scar some children. I'm not sure how Red Robin allowed this to happen. The only good thing to come out of this was we got to see how the suit is assembled. It's actually a lot more simple compared to the last version. In conclusion, future soldiers don't use mascots like this for homecoming surprises. Keep the magic alive for the kids. One more thing to mention about this version of Red. That's the merchandise. And if you thought it was weird that the last version didn't have much in terms of memorabilia, then what if I told you this one had even less? Literally the only thing I could find is the stickers. Oh, and the kids meal cups sometimes have them too. There's also statues based off this new look, but these aren't nearly as common as the other ones since they're brand new. And that brings us to today. As of January 2023, the version of the Red Robin mascot being used today is the Rockstar Robin. Here's hoping Red Robin does more with their mascot in the future. Then he can join the ranks of other iconic restaurant mascots. Or at least have them be remembered by everyone. But I guess that's what this video's for. And with that, this concludes the history of the Red Robin mascot, Red. And there you have it, the history of the Red Robin mascot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, sorry about it getting delayed. I was sick and I had to take a break, but I'm better now. And you know what? They say better late than never. 
I also wanted to thank you guys for watching and supporting this season of the History Of series. I couldn't have done it without you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below which mascot design is your favorite. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a few weeks for the Season 3 premiere of the History Of series. Bye bye Sweet, 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 rock it, rock it. Sweet, sweet.